Chuck, you're on 97 on the ticket. Hi, Chuck. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, at the Lions practice today. Yep. And uh, offense was concentrating on JMO a lot. And uh, on defense, uh, just for you, Doug, I was watching uh, your boy, Jack Campbell. <laughs> Here we go. There's good, news, there's good news and there's bad news. Right. Uh-oh. Uh, JMO looked great catching balls in traffic. Um, just they ran some end of they first part of ones on ones was a lot of running plays, and then when they were passing, it was it was it wasn't red zone. It was deep opposite red zone where they had to go all the way around the field, and then they had the uh, like one on one bull in the ring, and uh, Jack Campbell was tackling a lot of air today. Let's just put it that oh, way. Some swings and misses. Swings and well, Jimmy or Gibbs, he went against. You know, I, I I think they might have something going. I think they went head to head twice. Yeah. And uh, Jack uh, did not make much contact, but it, it sort of favors the offense because I think they start like five yards apart. Yeah. Um. But uh, Jamo looked really good. Just his hands on everything. And I will say that the DBs. I I was like you. I I, I have with this new offensive lineman from Baltimore. I think we're not going to miss a beat there. So I'm just looking at the defense, and it really seems like in the back end when there were passes over the top, there were hands on the ball, hands, you know, contact simultaneously, not, you know, flags and everything. But it, it was it was a nice practice, uh, 8.30 to about 10, maybe 10.10, 10, and um, a little bit of sun, and they have that cover on us now. And all your boys were there. Stoney was there. Um, Mike O'Hare, I don't know. He should be on a golf course, but he was there too. And, <laughs> Can't uh, stay away. Faith, no, <laughs> no, no. He's he's needs his shot of lines every morning. But they they were cheering from uh, Martha Firestone chants to Jared Goff chant. Wow. So everybody was really into it. Chuck, thanks for the intel. And it's amazing that I just think everybody that goes to practice comes away and says the same thing. JMO. It's, 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 this is one of those hype trains. that's just building and building and building. Shh. I don't just, let's keep it quiet. <laughs> Nobody needs to know. It's Jamison Williams can have a breakout year. They're going to have to double team. I'm going St. Brown. Clearly that's it. That's, that's, that's how you stop the lions. Double team him. Leave Jamo alone. It's kind of crazy really because I, I, this is where I might have the weakness may show is it's going to get to the point where I'm just going to fully believe he's going to have a breakout <laughs> year based solely on preseason practice hype. But you almost get to a point where you're like, I don't know how he can't be great. I don't know who's going to be, who's going to get triggered more between you or, I think, because Kang is, Kang's a monster JMO fan. I never left his side, guys. <laughs> I never left his side. You guys know this from day one. I always thought, okay, he's. He's not playing, but look at him. He's engaged, right? And he's always cheering for his teammates. He never pouted. He never was a problem on social media. He was never pouting, you know, like I said, pouting and all that stuff. And I almost feel a little uncomfortable how much attention he's getting, not just locally, but nationally, it seems like. People are, hey, have you seen Jameson Williams over at Lions camp? He is just three yards behind the defense, getting open. He looks even faster, bigger, stronger. Campbell comes out and says, no question he's looking better than any, anyone else coming back. Yeah, Doug, I feel what you're saying with he can't fail, right? This is too much. I this know. is too much. I know, and I, it's it's not wise <laughs> to draw these conclusions. But how come everybody who goes to practice always right? says the same thing? Everybody Jamal looks great. Well, if he looks great, this offense, I mean, we already know they're good. Do, do, they have, do they have another level? I mean, does Ben Johnson have something been waiting for a uh, guy to take the top off the defense? Because Josh Reynolds wasn't that guy. You know, St. Brown's not that guy. Jamo brings a different, that's a different ammunition. That's a different bullet in the chamber that, you know, Ben Johnson has yet to use.